Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about breakthrough these. So I have two scriptures that are talking about this subject. The first scripture I'd like to share with you guys is John 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. When you have a problem, just just go to Jesus because Jesus is the way out of that problem. He's the way out of your situations. He's the way to the Father. He's the only way to the Father. He's always been the only way to God the Father. We can't get to God the Father if we don't know Jesus first. Jesus made a way for us out of our problem. No matter how big it was, no matter how no matter how drastic it was and no matter how hard it was to get through cuz we we were our own problem as well the biggest enemy that we'll ever face is ourselves okay what i mean is we are our own worst enemy we're the ones keeping ourselves from receiving something from god we're the, we're the reason why we can't get past this problem because we're fighting ourselves. Because we, we're afraid that, that going to the next step is going to ruin our lives. But we need to trust in Jesus. Jesus said, have faith in me. And if you lack faith, ask of me and I'll give you faith. Jesus wants you to trust in him. He he will never lead you down the wrong path. He will give you wisdom. He will let you... Yes, He'll let you go through some stuff, but only to mature you and to strengthen you. Jesus never gave up on you, never left you for dead. He was there with you the whole entire time, and He will continue to be there. Jesus will never abandon you. If there's something hard that you're going through, Jesus will get you through it. The enemy will try constantly to destroy your relationship. He'll try to distract you from Jesus. He'll try to manipulate you into believing him. But Jesus will help you if you ask of him. That's the only way we can get through these, if we have Jesus. Jesus is the way. He is the life. The life that is given to us. He's the truth. So why are we spending all our time believing the, the father of lies when we should be believing the truth? Just remember that. Jesus is the truth. Follow him, and he will get you to where you need to go. Alright. Just, just reflect on that real quick. Then I'll get to the second scripture. All right, second and final scripture, John 17, verse 8. For I gave them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They believe, they, they knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. They, when we believe in Jesus, when he finally, because, yes, we go through our we go through times where we believe lies, but Jesus will reveal himself to us in a mighty way, we nev a way we never expected him to. Jesus will reveal all truth to us. And he says that I will guide you into all wisdom, into all knowledge, into all truth. Jesus will make a way out of your problem. He will get you to the place where you need to be. You're over here. You're far away from your promise. But God will get you to your promise. God, God will take that spirit of stubbornness out. He'll take that spirit of refusal and replace it with the spirit of submissive, submission, the spirit of obedience. Jesus will get you places you never even thought you would go. You. God is going to get you through that, but you got to decide to follow him. You got to decide to to listen to him and obey him. You got to you got to decide. God can't fight. He can't solve all your problems. He can't 
There are some things you need to figure out on your own. You have to break through these, not Jesus. Yes, he'll help you, but he's not going to do all of the all of the destruction in your mind. He's not going to he's not going to be the one to drag you all your life. He's not going to no, you've got to destroy these things yourself. You've got to take every thought captive. And you've got to trust in God that he knows what he's doing and that these are all lies. You've got to put your full trust in Jesus. You've got to let go of your ego. You've got to let go of your selfishness. You've got to let go of your... you just got to let it go and you got to put it in the master's hands. you got to let Jesus take you where you need to go. Just trust your life over to him. Give your life to him. Let him guide your steps because only he knows where you're supposed to be. Not you. Just, just trust in him. Break through these. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be held down by all these lies and all of these tricks, all of these accusations. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to be continuing, growing in God. You're supposed to be showing the love of Christ. You're supposed to be showing everyone that you are strong. And I don't mean showing off. You're supposed to be showing people the way to go. But you can't do that if you're believing a lie yourself, can you? So break through these. Break through these lies, all of these traps, all of these... All of these emotions, all of these barriers that you've built up. And just follow God. Open your heart. Open your heart to people. Open your heart to God. Let this sink in. All right, I hope you got some nice guys. I love you. I'm closing prayer. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Lord, please, Lord, let this video just touch people right now. Lord, continue to use me for Ethanio's play is simple. You are king of kings, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, that that I haven't been the best. I wasn't the best of myself when I should have been. You were, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. You showed me stuff, Lord. Please, Lord, show them stuff, Lord. And Lord, please continue to use me and Help my unbelief, Lord. Please, Lord, help me to continue in your truth, Lord, and to just know that you're always near and that I can trust in you, Lord. I love you, Lord, and I praise in your awesome, glorious, beautiful name. You are awesome. You're greatly to be praised, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you did for me on Calvary, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I praise you in your name. Amen. All right, guys, remember, I'm just plain simple, but he is not. He's beautiful, and he's lovely, and he is glorious. Break through these lies. Get to know God. Follow the truth. Follow and stop listening to these lies and just accept the truth. I love God's truth. Alright. Um, remember, when times are tough, praise God in storm. Praise Him through those storms and trust that He'll get you that He'll get you through them. See you guys, like, subscribe. God bless. And if you need prayer, let me know. Let me know down in the comments section and I'll pray for you.